With the Beijing Olympics about to begin, Canada is about to start talking about a lot of incredible athletes and sports. And what comes to Canadian curling, we had to take a moment and talk about Sandra Schmerler, or as many of you knew her, Schmerler the Curler. She won the first ever Olympic gold medal in women's curling in Nagano in 1998. She won three Scotties and three world championships. And when she died of cancer at the age of 36 in 2000, her funeral was broadcast live across Canada on two networks. Sandra's daughter, Sarah England, is joining us this morning. Welcome to your morning. Hi, thank you for having me. Uh, your mother left such a lasting impact on curling and really on this country. She, she, the year after she died, the Sandra Schmerler Foundation began. This is incredible. It has raised nearly $6 million for hospital units yeah. that care for premature and critically ill babies. Tell us more about the foundation and how it honors your mom. It honors us, well, beyond just being named after her, it's um, helping raise money for a cause that's near and dear to her heart. She, um, if you ask anyone, it was family first and then curling. Um, so we're raising money to help babies and families across the country who are born too early and too sick and just giving them the necessary equipment that they need to survive. And I think that's a beautiful cause. Um, I know, luckily, Jenna and I, my sister, did need any of those uh, equipment when my mom had us. But I know she would have been um, super grateful and appreciative for all the stuff that we have done, and it, especially if we needed it. So it's very important and really excited to be a part of the foundation now. It's been nearly 22 years since Sandra's death. And this past weekend, the foundation was able to break its previous record. You raised more than $750,000 in a single <laughs> event. That's just incredible. Yeah. What do you think it is about her that's allowed her name to continue resonating with people in the way that it does? I think um, we just, as a foundation, we really target her authenticity that she had when she played. And um, we... She was just a person, or from what I've been told, I never got to experience it truly myself because I was so young, but she was just such a true person. Uh, and I think that just resonates with people for longer. And having her team involved with the foundation and keeping Jenna and I involved, I think that helps people really connect still because um, they see her in us. Mm. You bring up a really good point about the fact that she died when you were still so very... I mean, she was young. She was 36. Mm -hmm. You were very young. And you never got to see her career. You never got to cheer for her and, and, and know her in the same way a lot of other Canadians did. But you've also been drawn to the sport yourself. So for Canadians yeah. who don't curl, tell them why they need to get out and to try it. I think the biggest thing is you can do it forever. <laughs> My grandma is almost uh, going to be 83 this year, and she's still curling. What? It's just in a sport. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a sport you can just keep doing, and there's different types of curling where it, there's wheelchair curling and stick curling for those who can't get low in the hack, and it's a sport of such big on community and once you're in the curling community, you are supported for life. And that's one of the biggest things that I've gotten to experience. Uh, when I go to any sporting event, someone is coming up that's been connected to my mom and has amazing stories to share to me. And it's been wonderful. And I will never, I will never stop curling for as long as I can, at least. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you're doing it to 83 and beyond, just like your grandma. Yes. It's a great legacy. <laughs> Uh, the curling actually gets started tomorrow in Beijing. We've got our mixed doubles team that's hitting the rink mm -hmm. against Great Britain in the round robin. I love this. It's like the Canadian champions against the like country that invented curling. Uh, what are your hopes for Canada's curlers in China? Uh, my hopes, uh, if they get on the podium, obviously, and I just want them to represent well and have fun. I think we miss a lot of the time watching. You forget that having fun is a big part of sport. So I hope they enjoy their time and they're safe. And if they bring home a medal, that's wonderful. But I hope they have fun and uh, th they'll represent Canada well. We have great representation over there. So it'll be really fun to watch. I know your support means a lot to uh, Team Canada. And it was really great to meet you, Sarah. We were showing uh, those pictures of your mom carrying you as a baby. And I think there's a lot of Canadians who remember seeing you that way. It's great mm -hmm. to see and talk to you here today. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.